Thank you for joining me on this Thursday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get to this tropical blob. Thank you for being part of this weather community and subscribing. I do appreciate that. Now, this is what's going on. And what I want to get into is the American model. I want to talk about the European model. And I want to dive into the Canadian model and the German model, which is the icon with this. Because this tropical wave is a little ahead of schedule. None of the modeling was really picking up on it this much the last couple days. Now, I want to show you where it could end up down the road, I do believe it could develop potentially into the next tropical storm. Now, let me zoom down a little bit closer. So here's the Caribbean. We have the Atlantic Basin here. It's actually two areas I'm watching right here. This is the strong tropical wave or tropical disturbance. And then there's another strong tropical wave that's about to come off. Now, it's hard to tell which one may uh, develop at this point. The models kind of say, hey, this one might develop a little bit or this one. Some of them say neither are going to develop, but you can see it yourself. You see these brighter colors here even the darker ones there, that is showing the taller cloud tops. That means we have really tall clouds there, which means there's a lot of moisture, a lot of rain and storms with that tropical wave. Now, there's been dry air out here. This orange shading on my dry air tracker is the dry air. Usually, that can uh, either slow up a system or even prevent some development. But with that said, you see in the immediate uh, area where this is headed, there's more showers and storms out here. So there's actually some moisture out here. Point being, it's not as dry as it was. So with that said, this uh, tropical wave and or the one behind it may stick together. So what do the models say? Now, here's the American model. And the American model is very similar to the European model. So again, not there's some differences right now, but not huge differences. So let me take you out on time. Again, thinking of uh, uh, the American model being similar to the European. This is the American itself. This is by the time we get into Saturday. So as we get into the weekend, there's not much going on. You see, again, watching this tropical wave, there's not a lot with it in the short term. There is still some dry air, so I don't expect a whole lot of development out of it. But as we go out in time, you see here on Monday, still not a lot. It's actually this little blob of rain here. There's not a lot doing with it on Monday. But as it approaches the Caribbean, it, uh, the conditions, the environment is more conducive for some development. So you see, as we get deeper into next week, it flares up again. So this is by the time we get into Wednesday of next week, you see it here, an area of rain. Now, the both the European and the American model at this point, a week from now, don't have this as a tropical storm, but they do latch onto it. And again, there are some signs that it could develop a little bit further as it either gets closer to the Caribbean or the Bahamas. Now past this. Some of the models want to keep this just kind of a weak tropical disturbance, much like we saw with the last one. Not a big deal. Kind of stays out to sea or bring some rain to Bermuda. Some of the very long-term models want to bring this a little bit closer to the Bahamas, Florida, and the Gulf of Mexico and try to develop it. That is way down the road. So that is a wait and see. And one thing I want to mention with the models, computer models do a better job when a storm is already developed. So say it was a hurricane here, the computer models become more reliable because they know exactly what the storm is at that point. They could find the exact center. This is a developing tropical wave. It's kind of hard to figure out where uh, the center may want to try to form if it does want to form uh, if that. So again, and there's a, so many variables when it's a, a system that is not developed. So we look at this. This is the Canadian model. Okay, so here's Florida, Cuba, Jamaica. Here's the Caribbean. And we have these two tropical waves. Now, the Canadian model looks to kind of want to develop the one behind it a little bit more. But either way, the models are picking up on one of these tropical waves kind of hanging together and approaching the Caribbean. So taking it out in time, this is by the time we get into Tuesday morning. Here's Puerto Rico, Antigua. Barbuda. Here is this uh, tropical uh, wave here. Still, it does not make it a crazy hurricane at this point or even a tropical storm. The Canadian model, though, does try to develop this a little bit more. So as we go out in time, let me stop the clock here. This is as we get into next, later next week. This is by Thursday night. Now, the Canadian model doesn't really spin this out to sea, kind of brings this into the Caribbean. So that's got my attention. I'll keep an eye on it. It wants to bring some sort of either uh, developing tropical wave, maybe a tropical storm closer to the eastern or northeastern Caribbean by the time we get into later next week. 
We'll see how that changes. We'll see how that evolves together. Now, here's the icon or a, a German model. And this one also does a pretty good job. I'll, I keep an eye on all of them and then I tie them together to the environmental conditions as some of the stuff I do behind the scenes to see which ones are kind of performing better. So here's Florida, Bahamas. Here's the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago right here, St. Lucia, Barbados. Now, the German model as we go down the road, I'm gonna just take you out in time. This is by the time we get into Monday night and Tuesday, it shows a big stretch of some rain. So that is saying, hey, I don't see any development out of this, uh, at least over the next several days into early next week, but I am picking up on a strong tropical wave somewhere in here, if not two of them, that could bring some increased rain back to the Caribbean uh, by the time we get into the middle of next week. So again, the German model is not making this anything crazy at this point, but it, uh, it is also latching on to some of the extra moisture. So the models are seeing this. They're seeing this big blob out there. Now we need to see kind of what it does as it gets closer to the Bahamas and or the Caribbean by the time we get into the middle of next week. So some development is possible near the Caribbean. I showed you the Canadian model is a little more uh, apt to develop this thing potentially into a tropical storm. Regardless, if this were to be a strong tropical wave, just, just a strong tropical wave and move into the Caribbean, that could be a flood threat. But I also showed you how the European and American model kind of curved this a little bit more to the north. We'll see, this is down the road, but if something does get close, to the Caribbean, it would most likely be the middle of next week, and then it might spin up further uh, near the Bahamas. As I mentioned, long-term conditions are a little bit more favorable for some development, so it may eventually spin up either near the Caribbean or eventually near the Bahamas or near Florida sometime middle or end of next week. So this is what I'm monitoring. Again, we're gonna do this a lot. Hurricane season goes through the end of November. Clearly, I'm on top of this. I'll do my best for you to kind of see any subtle changes, try to pick up on some development. So development, not certain out of this, but again, the next name on the list is Emily. It was looking like that was gonna form in the central Atlantic uh, last week, but it, it did not. So here's the Caribbean itself. Let me bring you a little closer. Seeing some tropical impulses moving in. We've had some rain in spots. We had some additional flooding in Trinidad and Tobago. Yesterday I was mentioning that it wouldn't take much more. We've already had the flooding in Trinidad from this past weekend. So if you get a passing shower in spots, that could lead to some flooding. So what Watching Cuba, the Bahamas. Now, like yesterday, it'll be the flare up of some afternoon storms. Puerto Rico, we also had isolated flooding yesterday. Dominican Republic, Haiti, uh, Cuba, even Jamaica. Jamaica, we had some thunderstorms as expected in some spots. We'll do that again today. Watching some of the rain as well near Belize, Guatemala, my friends in Mexico, El Salvador. Rain chance has gone down a bit in Costa Rica, but still Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, Venezuela scattered showers. Now, as we work our way into tomorrow, same thing. Not as much in uh, Belize, but you still see the spotty showers and storms. Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, even Jamaica tomorrow, pop-up shower storm. ABC Islands were pretty dry. But then as we work our way into Saturday, spotty showers, better chance of that scattered about through the Eastern Caribbean. So Dominica, for example, Saba, Stacia, Montserrat, we could get a few passing showers. Now, on the Pacific side, you see some blobs of rain along the uh, south uh, west coast of Mexico. Now here, there could be some development. So I'm gonna watch this because it may curl a little bit more more to the north, but then watching this here, this is Hurricane Dora. Now it's gonna remain a pretty potent system over the next couple days, but it will enter into cooler waters. But again, it is a pretty strong hurricane at this point. What happens with it long-term? Well, long-term, here's Hawaii. After we get past this weekend, the water does get cooler, so we'll see some gradual weakening, but it looks to still be a system, most likely a tropical storm south of Hawaii. If this does try to shift a little bit more toward Hawaii, I'll keep you posted on that, but again, most of the modeling and environmental conditions keep this just to the south of Hawaii. But heads up, if you are in Hawaii, you should keep an eye on this system. So thank you for sharing this uh, channel with uh, others because again, it is still going to be a classified system as it gets a little bit closer to Hawaii by the time we get into next week. So I'll be watching that. Now Jamaica today, I mentioned today, tomorrow, into Saturday, into the weekend, it's those spotty storms isolate it to scattered, but if you get some, they could be strong. We could even have a few overnight. Belize rain chance 50%, and as I meant today, but as I mentioned tomorrow, more of that moisture 
pulls off to the west, moving back toward Guatemala and Mexico. Trinidad and Tobago, the chance of scattered shower stays with us. It ticks up a little bit on Saturday, and the concern is, again, a passing shower or even a thunderstorm that could lead to additional flooding. Keep me posted in the comments. Grenada, rain chance 50% today, 40% chance tomorrow, back to a 50% chance on Saturday. Barbados, rain chance a little higher tomorrow. Isolated chance today, scattered tomorrow. We'll get back through St. Lucia, same thing. Isolated today, scattered tomorrow. We'll see some spotty showers as we work our way into the upcoming weekend. And again, I'll be monitoring that strong, both those strong tropical waves near Africa. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, our rain chance today is 50%. 50% again as we get toward the Cayman Islands. Scattered showers will be around at times for some of us. Bahamas, rain chance the next two days at 40%. And then a 30% chance on Saturday. Turks and Caicos were holding at a steady 30 to 40% chance over the next three day days. Dominica, again, some spotty showers and storms, 50% chance for tomorrow. A 40% chance Guadalupe and Martinique tomorrow, about a 40 to 50% chance, pretty close to uh, same thing in uh, Dominica. Puerto Rico, watching out for the afternoon storms. We've got the heat around. A lot of us have been so hot. We've been so hot. Grenada, Trinidad, Barbados, uh, Martinique, we have been baking, the Virgin Islands. Uh, Puerto Rico, hot as well, but that will help trigger some afternoon storms, isolated shower chance, U.S. Virgin Islands, and the British Virgin Islands. Now, as we work our way into the Dominican Republic, some of the thunderstorms could be strong today. Today and tomorrow, scattered storms, mainly afternoon and evening. Same thing in Haiti, a 50% chance today and a 40% chance tomorrow and Saturday. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, Isolate it, 20 to 30% chance over the next three days, and about a 30% chance of a passing shower today. Antigua and Barbuda, for us in Antigua and Barbuda tomorrow and the weekend, rain chance at 20%. And of course, uh, up toward Anguilla, limited chance of rain, but I'll be keeping an eye on those tropical waves. Tomorrow and Saturday, rain chance at about 20%. 20% chance the next three days, St. Martin, Saba, Stasia, over towards St. Bart's. Very limited through Curacao, rain chance today, 5%, and that is it. Aru 5% over the next three days. Now, in Costa Rica, some scattered showers, but again, last couple days it has been very wet in spots. The rain chance is down to 60% the next couple days. Scattered showers and storms, Guyana, isolated flooding possible in Guyana and in Suriname. Rain chance today in Suriname at 50%. In northern Venezuela, and even swinging back toward Colombia, rain chance about 40% scattered for today. A little more isolated, 30% chance tomorrow. So clearly, we've seen it, these strong tropical waves are emerging, so I'll monitor for development. Nothing alarming at this point at all, uh, but again, just watching out for the signs of development as these continue to uh, march off. Now, this does kind of hint that in the Northeast Caribbean, it is going to get more active. Even if these tropical waves don't develop, these tropical waves are taking a little bit more of a northerly route. That could actually bring some welcome rain to spots in the Northeastern Caribbean, hopefully not much more. But again, it's looking to shape up as an active pattern mid to late month, the next name on the list being Emily. So I'm going to watch everything out there. I'm going to be watching this throughout the day, that big blob off the coast of Africa. Got you covered. Have a good rest of your day.